Hey guys, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. We're going to have a quick chat with our dog and duck friend here, and then we're going to move on to Halloween Town. Ah, yes, the uh, world I'm sure many people were waiting for for like the fifth time, because they use this world a lot, let's be honest. No, well, not yet, Olympus. No, no, we'll get to Olympus Coliseum, don't worry, we have to, we're required. It's mandated, really. I really hope it doesn't come back in the third game. I don't want it anymore. It's not fun. Well, you know, like, Mount Olympus is in Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Well, if it's the mountain, okay, that's different at least. I keep expecting Sora to shout, Ares! Or Zeus! I hope they make, like, a vague God of War reference. That'd be nice. <laughs> Looks like it's crawling with ghosts. No one is visible on screen. And, yeah, they haven't even noticed that they're wearing their stupid outfits yet. Donald's logic is flawed. You can still be scared by something you know is coming. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. I mean, a lot of scary things work that way. It's called a jump scare, Donald. Get used to it. Like that, for example. You ever have a Mountain Dew fountain installed? It's pretty neat. Kind of wanted a Jack Many boss fight. That would have been interesting, yeah. You know, there's kind of, like, misunderstandings you get in all various kinds of animes, and that's what Kingdom Hearts is. It's got Disney, but it's still partially anime. Oh, Jack used terror. It was super effective. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty damn anime at this point. I love that animation where he was jumping, and then he just kind of awkwardly shifted back into a neutral position. I'm telling you, man, default animation. It's the new default face. I love it. Hey, did you lead us into a trap, Jack? Well, Jack's a fucking asshole. I'll kill you next. Uh, the wonderful, bouncy, and sort of ethereal Halloween Town battle music. It's good to go back and kind of, uh, you know, listen to all of the uh, familiar battle tunes I knew from my youth. Well, I wouldn't say you, because I played this when I was a teenager. Can you really call that, you know, when I was a kid? It's like stage two of youth. This is to go even further beyond. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, being a kid too, Electric Boogaloo or something. See, so yeah, that's what Goofy does. Sorry, that's what Genie does. He pops out and grants a little bit of magic. Goofy comes out of the lamp. I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> you can't just let it go. Now I'm not going to be able to edit around that. You made a mistake. <laughs> I always found the, um, I think they're called White Knights, like W-I-G-H-T. Uh, I, I always found them like quite hard to deal with in uh, the original Kingdom Hearts because they've got really long reach and these flower fuckers here. I specifically remember having problems with them in the original Chain of Memories because they like to fire projectiles at you. Yeah, because in the original, you know, you're uh, operating on that 2D perspective and there was less room to maneuver around. But here, you have a much larger 3D arena, so uh, it's easier to kind of get out of the range of their attacks. Obviously, you can lock on to, uh, you know, just keep track of a, a single enemy, but oftentimes you won't be targeting a single enemy. There'll be multiple ones, so uh, I mostly try to save lock on and such for, you know, the boss fights and whatnot. Yeah, that's probably where it's the most effective. I think I brought a lion to the town. That always works out well. well I'm intimidated by lions, aren't you? Well, most people are, I would think. You know, if I see a lion and it's not inside of a cage, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. And, uh, you know, if there's tigers and bears, I'm just like, oh my. Uh, where's their enemy again? I just... I, I think he's over here. I don't... Uh, maybe if I come... Th no, no. It was a cruel god that granted us only the single eye. Yeah, they had, like, really goofy legs that they're walking around on, too. Plus one card. You get more than one card when you unlock it in a booster. Just bringing out all the card jokes for this one, aren't you, Helldragon? Do the card packs have, like, codes you can put in the online app? Because we really got to synchronize with that. That and social media, that's kind of the important thing these days. Oh, this came out, well, the original Chain of Memories came out, like, early 2000s, mate, so I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm trying to remember, like, what card games were out at the time. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously, I think, was, uh, you know, around at the time. Duel Masters? Duel Masters. I liked Duel Masters. I actually really like it, and they tried to redo that uh, not too long ago with Kai Judo, which uh, they kind of changed some of the stuff. Duel Masters is actually still going in Japan. It's uh, 
it was basically designed to be a, ja a Japan-focused Magic the Gathering, but uh, they used some simpler concepts, and I actually like some of the gameplay changes. I feel it corrects some of the problems that Magic the Gathering had, you know, being one of the first card collectible card games ever. So it's too bad we don't still see it around here in the U.S. Sometimes when you get a character into your pie, they'll give you a specific combo. So I don't know if I'm going to use Terror, but there you go. That's how you use Terror. And the loading times. Jeez. Yeah, it is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I, what is it loading? It's just like, you, you would think there would not be a lot to load, because the layouts are the same, the rooms are familiar, so... I guess I can talk about the whole room of rewards thing. I've tried to keep this as accurate as possible for each world, but uh, for Halloween Town, the room of rewards in the RE Chain of Memories version of the game yields a bind, which creates a wave of energy that stops enemies in their tracks for a bit. The slight uses one gravity card, one stock card, and then any other magic card that you like. In the original game, opening the room of rewards in Halloween Town grants you gravity rain. I'm pretty sure it's like Strike Raid, except it inflicts gravity. Feel free to correct me on that, I did not do much research into it. The set 2 reward is the Bond of Flame Keyblade card. You know, the Keyblade that you get in Kingdom Hearts 2 after Axel goes BOOM. Oh yeah, that one. Brings back good memories, is that Keyblade. Oh yeah, good memories. All the illicit crystals you could ever ask for. Zero. I have zero crystals. <laughs> well, I think most of us have zero crystals that are valuable. Unless there's, like, somebody watching this who's, like, a diamond investor or something. I don't know why you're watching this, by the <laughs> way. I think you have better uses for your time. He puts down his set of crystals, happy with his analysis, and goes, Man, I could just really listen to two really obnoxious nerds talking over video games. Specifically Kingdom Hearts. I gotta know if there's any actual celebrities that, like, watch Let's Plays. Like, I gotta know, because I'm really interested now. There was that one thing where the Game Grumps were talking about, like, I think it was, um... Oh, what's that fucker's name? He was Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, I, I know the name of his character, not the name of the actual actor. Fuck. Uh, okay, we were t they were talking about Star-Lord, let's say. And then I guess a lot of his fans said, Oh, these people are talking about you. And he acknowledged them. And that's the end of my anecdote. Well, that's how it tends to work with most celebrities. Can you acknowledge me? Sure, I feel validated now. Yeah. Same goes for uh, people who want Let's Players to acknowledge it. And I'm telling you guys, if you want me to uh, interact with you, you don't have to beg me to. Just start up a decent conversation, and I'll be as chatty as you like. Yeah, just hit up the Ask FM page, and uh, I'll practically be forced to comment with you anyway. Although you're a lot more stingy with your responses, aren't you? That's true, I tend to filter, I admit. Um, I also don't get as many questions as you do, which is understandable, really. That's the, uh, the key of rewards, rather. I always thought it was like a golden ticket in the original version of the game, but now I see it's like an actual door with like glowing stuff inside. Kind of like a gold bar, but yeah, I totally see the door comment as well. Well, of course, it makes sense that they're all sleeping in a graveyard. Yeah, I tried to make the path to, uh, you know, all the doors as easy as possible. So they're all sleeping. Standing up, for some reason. Are they like horses? Gives me a chance to get a preemptive attack in. That's the fucking word I was searching for in, like, part one or two. Yeah, 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 that's the one. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Well, hey, uh, I like when the white knight is sleeping. like, oh my god. Right, we need five exactly, or well, five or up, and we need seven or up. And this is like a three-star room with some of these cards, it's great. Little Jack-O-Lantern had a crown, how royal. You think it would have a Christmas hat, but I guess not. Well, I don't think he's gotten to that part of his insane plan yet. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a really lame prequel to the movie. <laughs> And also, part duck. <laughs> quack, quack. Donald, I think you have a very nice face. So yeah, a recurring theme in a lot of these worlds is that all the stuff is going to revolve around memories, and not as subtly as you think they will. Yeah, it's like I said, it's almost kind of dead on to what the story was, the adaptation was in Kingdom Hearts 1, but slight rejigs here and there. You know how memories play tricks on you. 
man, that is the... Uh, somebody is doodling in that book. Look, a person does not look like that. Their arms, there's no crotch area. Billy, this is a terrible drawing. Please try it again. I don't care if you're five. Step it up. Well, clearly they want to hit. Quack, quack, get me some bread. It's definitely not my fault. I'll just blame things externally. I'm always surprised that the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas world has, like, enough mechanical stuff to do an automatic wheelchair kind of thing. Because let me tell you, those things are fun. Because I've actually gotten ones donated to my work before, and I would ride around on the shouting, Come to me, my X-Men. <laughs> Uh, you have a lot of fun at your work, don't you? I, I try to have fun. I mean, what I do, you know, you, you gotta make your own fun, otherwise it's gonna drive you nuts. Yeah, same with Let's Plays, really. This cutscene is over. Fade out. That was worth it. That's gonna be... That, you should just insert that every, every cutscene, that clip of me saying, that was worth it. You know, I like the main story of Chain of Memories. I probably should have clarified this back when we were uh, done talking to uh, Mandy Moore and shit back in part two. But um, yeah, the main story is great. The world story, bland, kind of basic. It's just a retread. Yeah, a lot of them are filler, so we're going to have to get a little bit nimble here with how we talk over it. Does that hill have erectile dysfunction? Why, Hell Dragon? Well, it's a legitimate question. I mean, you know how many hills are affected by that every year? You're being very penisy in this playthrough. I noticed, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just trying to reach out for stuff. But the, look, he looks very ill. Come on. <laughs> you could have worded that better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sally, can I have my man do back, please? It's very important. Well, no wonder Heartless want to show up. They want to jam, play video games, eat Doritos. Huge buzz. What? What's more exciting than being poisoned? I can think of a few. I mean, that's basically Sally's role. She's a fucking wet blanket. That's it. Oh, everything could go horribly wrong. Nothing's gonna go horribly wrong. Everything goes horribly wrong. And so Sally was right. Ergo, the wet blanket wins. Oh, damn. Good body slam. You again? I wish he said that sarcastically, because it's always him doing stupid shit. Oh, fuck's sake, Oogie, really? Taking this rivalry too far, mate. Can bugs drink Mountain Dew? He is a collection of bugs, not one. That's what I mean, can bugs drink Mountain Dew? Oh, well, they just, they just like, take a drop each. Well, that's true, I guess they like sugar. I mean, if Men in Black taught me anything, they like sugar water. Oh, random... Like, jump scares is fine, but pain and horror, no! I probably should not have made a man made out of entirely out of bugs, because he's been giving me trouble time and time again. I don't want to think about Jack or Oogie being birthed into our world. No, oh, that's true. I have no idea how the hell... I love his image, by the way, for the uh, friend card. He's like, ooh! <laughs> Jack's just happy. Happy to be here. I'm an Oogie Boogie man. Alright, boss time. Jump into this pumpkin. Some worlds are more abridged than others, my friends. Thank goodness. A good thing he has an impossible machine in his lair. Don't worry, we will be skipping over the Oogie House section. I always felt that was kind of odd. I'm trying to remember that. He becomes a house. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> the Oogie House. It's self-explanatory. Bottoms up! No, don't. It has too many calories. Oh no, he's getting he's getting gamer fueled. Now bring me my Dorito so I can be perfect. Ah, oh, no, it's not sitting pretty. So is sort of like making this memory of him being sick, or who even knows? Then he blows up. I think it's implying that he remembers the real version of him being killed. I think so, yeah. Like, I, I also, also always got that vibe myself. Ah, oh, this is a pretty simple boss fight, really. Let's just let it load in, and then we'll see the little cutscene at the beginning, and I'll explain how it works. Yes, that's Sora. That is Oogie. That is a huge sack, yep. 
Ignoring that. Alright, here we go. You basically have to bring the gate down by card breaking him. That's it. Uh, for a while, uh, when I was first playing this, I just could not figure out how to get this gate to lower, and I eventually just kind of flailed my way to victory, but I think it's a lot more simple and less obnoxious than his boss fight in, like, the first, you know, Kingdom Hearts. Car uh, camera angle's better, and you don't have to deal with that crazy wheel thing that was going on. He just kind of sits there and takes it, really. I'm trying to remember, um, I don't know if we ever discussed this, but what, like, what made Nomura think originally to include Oogie Boogie? Like, what was, uh, what was the, uh, inspiration for that in terms of, like, did he just like that film in particular? Maybe so, maybe so, and they had the rights. Also, they needed another villain for their Disney, like, uh, evil league of evil. Man, I miss that. I kind of wish they made another league. I hope there's something like in Kingdom Hearts 3. There won't be, of course, but it would be nice. Well, it's the true organization 13, isn't it? Yeah, really, the Disney uh, a group of villains were the first original organization, and I like them way more. I will try and avoid spoilers explicitly for Chain of Memories, but we will be discussing stuff from future games, so I'll try to be as, like, a combination of open as and vague as possible. Yeah, and this is outdated in the future. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have that power yet. I'm trying to play the biggest game of Monopoly, but it's just not going through. Pro tip, if you put, like, a free wishes Keyblade card in your deck, make it so it comes, like, at the end of, like, every free or so cards. So, like, maybe Kingdom Key, Kingdom Key, uh, free wishes. Because if it comes at the end of a combo, it does a lot more damage than if it comes at the beginning. Oh yeah, I remember like each Keyblade has its own kind of card and each uh, Keyblade in turn has its own special ability when you use them in a deck. So yeah. that's... Uh, I never really kept track of that, I admit. I just put the best shit in that I could and I didn't really think about it that much. Good old Pumpkinhead. Come on, he's just trying to play a board game and you're just giving him a hard time. I'm coming for that ass, Oogie. I got nines to the nines. The biggest sack. Stop saying that. <laughs> do bugs respond well to cold? I don't think they do. Oh, he's almost done. I asked the classic combo of Blizzard Simba Zero. Is there like being a dead horse uh, in this context, but you're really just being a leather sack? <laughs> Stop saying sack! He is a sack, that's what he is. You can't not describe him as a sack, that's his body. Okay. He's Oogie Boogie, the one and only. He defies all expectations, all labels. Well, at least the slots are happy to see us. Man, I am gonna cure you so hard with Donald. Simba always goes- Simba. Sora always goes right for the crotch. It's kind of unnerving, honestly. I, he kind of does that in all the games. Like, you know when he dick-stabbed uh, Zenmus in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh, I like the Oogie Boogie enemy card. I can tell you what this does off the top of my head, actually. It gradually restores HP once activated. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Oh, okay, here we go. Whimsical music. Okay, it's happy now. Oogie Boogie's dead. Yay! Oh, uh, or maybe he's alive. I don't know. He drank all my Mountain Dew. And the store is so far away! You see how long it takes to get anywhere with this fucking buggy? <laughs> I like how my voice for the doctor is just mound That's all yeah, it is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Too bad I'm gonna mix it with Pepsi. Oh wait, there's a whole nother vat of it over on the right. No, I'm good, Fang. Some memories deserve to be repressed. Yes, because we really should hold our promises to the villain. Maybe it's a fear potion? Wasn't asking you, Sally. Fucking... She's just a bomber, man. Well, she's right, though. She's basically the Cassandra of this piece. You'll explode like he did, of course. Well, I ain't exactly sticking around to find out, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my giant book. 
That's good. Education should scare you. Have you seen the price of college these days? Oh my god, that's the most frightening thing of all. He's not wrong, but at the same time, he's a talking skeleton. Yeah, oh, just by nature, it's kind of hard to trust him, admittedly. <laughs> May your horror let's plays on YouTube always have high views. May your face cam always be in high definition. Okay, we're good. Get some exercise in before I leave. I mean, with all that jumping he does, like, his leg muscles must be amazingly strong. And his feet must be so huge. That's true. He's, uh, he's got massive feet. Is that cannon? I think so. Ooh, card! Oh, it's gravity. Uh, I wish it worked like that in real life. Hit this bench, you'll get cards out of it. The uh, PS2 detects that you're playing Chain of Memories. Are you absolutely sure you want to continue? Would you like to play Dark Chronicle instead? It's right there. Well, you could do that, or you could play Okami. Okami's pretty... I need to go back to Okami and play that again. That game's great. Still haven't played it. You should. It's good. I've got Let's Plays to talk over and edit and such. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty much your gaming schedule right there. Look, the king will be fine as long as his copyright doesn't run out. That's why I carry this picture with me. Why doesn't he have any pants? A king's quest, if you will. A quest for the Mickey. Yes, we've played this game, thank you. Repetition is a big part of Kingdom Hearts, let's be honest. You fight in the exact same ways, apart from like in 2 where you press triangle a lot, and uh, they re-talk over the same scenes again and again. This is just Alzheimer's in video game format, I don't know how to feel about that. Don't end the cutscene talking about Alzheimer's, that's not cool! That is pretty awful, I'm sorry. <laughs> I noticed the uh, top of the room has vents, which is good, in case it gets uh, cold in here. Look, I want you to find commentary for a featureless white room where nothing fucking happens, okay? <laughs> I wasn't judging you, mate. You were, just silently. Ah, Luxern. That person who looks like she's got cockroach antenna. It's Luxene. Get it right. Ever. Is it just because it wasn't said out loud that you pronounced it wrong? Probably. I'm a bit flawed like that. I cannot remember who voices her, so let me quickly look that up. Well, this is a new one, obviously. I mean, they, you know, in the original, she wasn't voiced. She's like the only girl, too, which is weird. You'd think they would have gotten more than one. Oh, oh no, she was voiced in the original. I remember her laugh very specifically. Uh, voiced by Chanel Gray. I don't know who that is. Nor do I. Oh, she does like the voice of Wendy in, uh, you know, the fast food chain Wendy, their commercials. That's her? Yeah. Oh, neat. Now I'm gonna just connect her with burgers, you realize. Her name is Burger Robes. Isn't that the organization's mission? I am the most anime of them all! Tee hee! Do they wear clothes underneath their robes? Yes, they do. I'm just curious. Milk, eggs, bread. <laughs> Milk, egg, bread, and what? And what? I can't think of anything. So Darn it! This full English is gonna be shit. This is why I write down everything I do. But whatever they were, they couldn't have been very important. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Yeah, that's a really kind of sloppy way to deal with losing your memory. Eh, it wasn't important. Yeah, I suppose. You know, name of my daughter, fuck it. I don't know. Her name's Clancy now. Worrying about it too much is paranoia. Worrying about it too little is being irresponsible. And Star had a little face on it, and I think that's cute. I'll never forget making that promise. God knows we'll go over it in cutscenes 50 fucking times. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Sora, her name is Carrie. Come on, did you forget? Whoa, okay, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I would prefer you if you were blonde. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, we're an even less exactly. I'm at that age. 
Well, that was awkward. Back to the cutscene at hand. Yeah, I suppose. I, I just forgot there was a cutscene we were doing. I guess he's lost more memories than both of us combined, Goofy. Sorry. Okay, guys, that'll do it for now. We'll see you on Friday for another part of Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. Bye for now.